I'm a bit late to the party as I was not home today, but I have arrived home and I'm ready to read the Director's Cut Part 3, which is supposedly about PvP. You my few people in my Discord kindly gave me the old at and told me, hey yo, Director Cut's out. They're slamming these out at a high speed, so I'm gonna give a few hot takes on this whole thing. Your mouse wheel scroll and clicking any of that. I'm sorry about the background noise. I'm reading this as I go, that's what a hot take is. But I've been pretty much read all this while we're sitting here anyway. Okay, this is all just talks about armor. This is the damage numbers for PvE. That's its own thing. Uh Lumina, hello. Oh, Lumina's buff. I thought they were buffing Lumina. Sorry, I'm getting a bit off topic here. Here we are. We are looking for super server, super mods. Super mods are getting removed. Replaced by wonderful intellect mods. Hello, welcome to the game where we solve things, but we don't actually. Uh. Yeah. I'm just sorry, I'm reading this top part. I'm sorry if I don't vocalize what I'm thinking so much. I'm taking this in as I go. Uh, roaming supers in Destiny 2 are obscenely powerful. That's just a plain fact. Um, yeah, Arc Titan's killing them. I'm that Arc Titan. I'm that guy. I, I run full super mods ever since Banshee showed them last week. I saw Armor 2.0. I just went, you know, what dignity do I have left to lose? And kind of went straight to it of being the absolute scumbag of the universe. And I'm enjoying it. This is talking about PvE, PvP, just super roaming supers in general. Uh, they are changing the way roaming supers work to, well, not be as good, and they're restricting the amount of super energy you get back with something like Bottom Tree Striker or Bottom Tree Domblade, which refill your super uh, while getting kills, and they last so obscenely long, it hurts me. Like, Bottom Tree Striker lasts for a considerable amount of time, but Bottom Tree Domblade lasts so long, it it's just mind-boggling. And it's not something I'm going to get mad about or anything, because it's been in the game for a while, I've known about it. It's annoying to get killed by it, but I'm glad they're going to be fixing it, or just changing it. I don't want to say anything's a fix here, I just want to say changing, because we don't know how this will turn out. Uh, heavy ammo. Destiny 1 heavy ammo. Uh, the way that worked, if you haven't played Destiny 1, is heavy ammo works similar to the way it does now, except there will be two spots that spawn heavy ammo on the entire map. And uh, everyone on, on a team could get heavy ammo if they were close enough to the brick. Uh, there's nothing really quite like it in Destiny 2, but it, let's just say it's sort of a community box of power ammo that everyone got access to on one team or another. And I got to know Vivon people a lot during that, so I'm looking forward to it returning, but on the same note, not looking forward to it returning because Blade Barrage is in the game and that thing's silly to say the least and they're not reverting it totally like that but i'm glad they're changing heavy ammo heavy ammo has reached this point in competitive to where if i'm playing survival on Wormhaven, let's say uh if i don't win the starting fight for that match the round is completely over there's no point in fighting a hammerhead or play the game or whatever they choose um, they talk about Hammerhead right here, lots of heavy ammo. I'm glad the amount's getting reduced. I feel like it should just go away the moment you die, and everyone should get it. Uh, that may sound kind of counterintuitive, but it's the system I trust because it was in Destiny 1, and I know that comes with a lot of stigma for the fact that a Destiny 1 fanboy will sit here and just rant about how much the game was better, and I did enjoy Justine 1 a lot more, but that it still had its fair share of problems, but I don't believe this system was one of them. For PvP, alright, I'm just... Ugh, pinnacle PvP weapons, yeah, there we go. Mountaintop Recluse. Please get nerfed, for the love of God. Those weapons are so broke, it hurts me. It hurts everyone, it hurts the enemies in the game. I, I should just stop saying it hurts me, because... It hurts everyone. But mountaintop recluse have a special place for hatred in my heart. Same with something like Aaron Till, but we're in Wise and Rebuke, but to a lesser degree, because mountaintop recluse is just so cheesy it hurts me. Um, here's... Okay. 
<laughs> I bet you they left a link to a... Uh, they did leave a link to it. Uh, there's an old song. Oh, God, I can't remember what this is by. Rihanna? Oh, Lord, I'm, I'm too young for this. <laughs> Alright, Trials of the Nine. That was a bad time. We, are, we shouldn't bring that back. Darkest Force, pretty nice. It's a 540 Pulse. 540 Pulses are very, very good. All Pulse Rifles are, but Claws of the Wolf will tear through people. Um, okay, indefinitely. There we go. We have the words. Trials of the Nine is not coming back. Not sure how to feel about that. I'm not happy or disappointed by any means. I just honestly kind of apathetic. Uh, glad Bungie's focusing on everything else. Alright, here's where we're getting to the meat of the stuff. I see the bullet points down here. Um, PvP portion of the director. Thank goodness I'm so tired of having two buttons, competitive and quick play. It, uh, it's annoying. So I had to take a quick break there. Lovely, uh, people yelling at my house, so. Glad you didn't have to hear that. Okay. Everything's factor three, da 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 da. That's... <laughs> 4v4 PvP was a mistake, I hate it. This is the exact synergy I'm talking about. 6v6 PvP splitting up to 3v3. 3v3 PvP is the best form of destiny there is. I will stand behind that till the day I die. Um, and I'm glad they're returning to that system, which is the big, big thing to take out of this. For those who haven't played any 3v3 PvP, you will, and you will most likely enjoy it because it's so much more manageable. Uh, it's not overwhelming like 6v6 with constant spamming supers, and there's not as many people to just team shoot you out of existence like there is in 4v4, but there's also, you can you can still team shoot, don't worry, little crutch boys out there running around with your uh, bows, you can still team shoot everybody if you stick together and have a fun time, but normally if you're playing in randoms, I'll see someone split off from the group and I'll be like, haha, gonna go 1v1 them, and uh, well, I'm not the best player by any means, but I can certainly beat a lot of people in a one v one when it comes to Destiny Two because usually they ex they expect themselves to be safe. They're two little teammates just around a corner behind them. I'm getting way too in depth with this. Point is, I am looking forward to three v three on a whole other level. Here are the big ones: We've removed quick play and competitiveness from the director. Oh, thank God! Getting annoyed at those. If you're looking for a class experience like cla classic mix. Okay. Supremacy, don't enjoy that. There are two comments I want to make about this. Supremacy, why? We got rid of that for a reason. And connection based playlist like Quick Play today. Um, current day Quick Play has skill based matchmaking. And I don't care what this thing says. I don't care if it's Lone Luke's Miss Mouth. And he is totally honest. God doesn't know. I will not see it as coincidence that every single day I get matched with unbroken player eviscerate the fatal tourney players over and over and over again pros in my quick play lobbies it is not just a coincidence I think oh maybe it's everybody's quick play lobbies I've watched other people's streams no it's not it's just my lobbies and then I join my friends who are lower skilled than me and they go dude why is this lobby so sweaty what the hell did you do and I'm sitting there knowing my MMR is just ruining everything. And I'm big sad, I'll be honest. I don't know if it's about ELO, which is... I don't know what that stands for, but it's just your general skill rating per playlist. I think my highest is control. I don't really know. I get a lot of kills in control, that's why. Anyways, competitive is replaced by 3v3 survival. 3v3. Absolute blast. Survival, not an absolute blast. Why, why, why? You're making mistakes here. They're so close. They're absolutely so close. I'll take progress, but this is not perfection by any means. I know I sound like the person who can never be satisfied, but I've been screaming from the rooftops. 3v3 skirmish, which is just clash, but 3v3. For, for so long now, I've been, I think I said it first in like, I made a video on it in February, I've been saying it forever before that though. Regardless of continually wondering when I said things, we've also had this rival solo queue, the also what is glory. Solo comp playlist. That's a thing. Alright, um, I don't know. I'll use it, I guess. 
never on my main, but it'll be really interesting for when I'm doing recubs, which are still going to be a thing. Thank the Lord I have something to do when it gets too sweaty on my main, because there's no skirmish. <laughs> it'll be a good time. 6v6 controls its own playlist. Uh, interesting to see. Where's my, where's my, where's my 3v3? I want my 3v3. I want skirmish. Where is skirmish? <laughs> I'm just messing around. Um, uh, yeah, all right. new people, we don't care about them. <laughs> I'm joking. Care about all the new people. Coming over from cross save, new light, all that banana stuff. 6v6 rotator. Would be 4v4 rotator, okay. Um. I, I guess you can't completely get rid of 4v4. That was as much as I wish it would be. Um. Oh, wow, okay, um, Rotator Playlist, Clash, Supremacy, Mayhem, Lockdown, Countdown. Um, Countdown getting added as a rotating playlist, that is the current bomb, sort of, planting charges from competitive, if you've played it. Uh, Clash and Supremacy are already in base, you know, to the whatever it is, classic mix up here. I, I wish they would stop adding rotators and mayhem. I don't like mayhem at all, for being honest. I know it's fun for fun, but it's just so annoying to me in the current state of supers. I, I can't play it, and I never could play it in Dusty 1 either. Maybe I'm just too much of a sweaty nerd to have fun, but it, it just it, it doesn't make me happy when I actually play it, so I don't play it. But adding in Clash of Supremacy when they're already in the classic mix, I think this is a huge mistake because I'm never going to want to play Supremacy in my life ever. Uh, the day I sit down and I say, wow, I want to play Supremacy is the same day I'm going to... Uh... No, I can't say that for YouTube. Um, I can't say that one either. I'm going to do some things that probably shouldn't be done. There you go. Very nondescript and... Uh, uh, not really inciting any levels of... No, nope, can't say that word either on YouTube. I was gonna say... I mean, can you say violence on YouTube? I've already said it, but like... I'm getting so off topic here, I'm so sorry. Oh! Oh! <laughs> We've removed some wonderful performance. Firebase Echo is gone. Oh, thank the Lord. Thank everybody, thank Luke Smith. I made a video on it about a week ago and I said, oh, I don't think they'll remove from matchmaking that the Bungie's never just removed a match from matchmaking. They're doing it. They're removing Firebase Echo. Everybody hates Firebase Echo. I was talking to a friend today who uh, hadn't played Destiny in a while because his computer broke. It was a fun little time. I was like, yo, they're getting rid of uh, Firebase Echo. Or... So, I was. This is the one section that was sent to me. To, uh. So, as much as I'm making this all seem new, like, I don't know, so I was sent about from here to here. That's just. A, I don't know, I can pull up the Discord later, but I was sent that already, so I already know some of the things here, so this isn't a true hot take as much as I'm trying it to be. I didn't really put any thought to it. Anyways, getting back to my friend, I said, Oh, they're removing Firebase Icon. He's like, No, I like Firebase Icon. I said, Do you know which map that is? Because he hasn't played Destiny months. It was like, uh, is it the one, but he was describing Endless Veil, vale. and I was like, no, 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 um, it's the one with, like, the energy shields, it's like a ball base, and he's just like, oh, that one on Nessus, yeah, that's horrible, that map's absolutely terrible, and we're getting, they're getting rid of it, right here. They've also been working on four variants of 3v3 elimination. Okay, token resurrection on, I would prefer no. Destiny one cuckboy over here. Heavy ammo. Yeah. Elimination's come Crucible Labs. That is not a word we have seen in a long time. Elimination is very much unfinished. Yes, I get that. It's missing voiceover or youth medals. Yada yada yada. Yeah. Point is, elimination. Great time. I I, I love elimination. Because it's uh it's the closest thing I'm gonna get to skirmish in this sad universe. Um, Widow's Twilight. Okay. 
Uh, but we already knew Widow's Court was referring from trailers, but Twilight Gap is coming back? That was an amazing map from Destiny 1. I remember didn't, I didn't like it at first, but it, could, it just over time became one of my most favorite maps in the entire game. It's a wonderful map on Earth. Oh my goodness. That is... That is... I'm, I'm not at a loss for words. I hope they are faithful to the original, because jumping on the cannons outside the map at Twilight Gap was one of the most fun things you could do. Uh, I did it with Blink because, you know, I'm a sadist and kind of a perfectionist too. I'm, I'm just smiling. This is happy times. Big changes. And by big changes, I mean they added a good map. Good maps. Plural, there's what is court. And elimination. Alright. How do you matchmaking? Stomping. I assume that's what this is before pressing the hammer. Yes. Okay. Overstructure feels like a sweat fest. Yeah, my quick play matches, my uh, my breakthrough match, <laughs> strike that, my breakthrough matches aren't that way. Sometimes they are. Uh, my doubles matches are for the most of the time. My The weekly rotating crucible playlist for those of you at high or ELO and skill rating, uh, you probably know already it doesn't have such hard, you know, like uh, adherences to skill based matchmaking. Though the, you will sometimes roll up on a couple unbroken players, and that, that's that's a fun time. But so due to the low population count of the playlist, it'll match you with people below your, your skill level or above. It's a bit wider, and it's so nice, and it's so refreshing that I can actually play on my main. It is inherently just so much not fun playing quick play on my main. And something like Breakthrough really just puts the life back in the game for me. Even though I, I, uh, I don't really like breakthrough that much just the playlist itself problem is when so we lose yeah 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 squads of termeers destiny 2 has reached a point to where i think there can be solo but not, not well they're already adding a solo playlist but i mean just matchmaking that tries to emphasize solo players as to players in groups uh i rarely ever roll around in a group above two or three Three's pretty rare, it's just usually me and a friend. Um, friend, my friend can vary between, oh, my skill level maybe a bit above and far below, and just a bit below average, I, I don't, I don't know. I play with my friends, and I hate to see them getting punished for terrible matchmaking, and see, seeing something like this, I, I, yeah, 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 okay. This is... I'm, I'm, I'm trying. Alright, Variety. I get what they're saying. They want me to win and lose about an equal amount of time, though I will still probably keep, like, my 60% win ratio, whatever the hell it is. I haven't checked in a long time. Uh... Yeah, I wouldn't be too against that. But I don't want to ever get stomped. Uh, no, no player ever does. But I don't want to get stomped, because when I get stomped, it's because... There are more than three uh, high, very high skill, like two or three very high skill players on the enemy team, and they just pummel me into the ground over and over again because skill based matchmaking in quick play slap them up against me. And you're like, that's a fair match. No, it's not. Oh my goodness, it's not. My head, it's not. Don't, please. So. Regardless of what they do, I'm always going to end up stomping people. But I don't want to get stomped. So are they just going to match me against their players like me? Because that, that's that's what they're saying they're not going to do here. But they're also saying it is going to happen here. But they want it to be 50-50. Um, just by statistics, it can't be 50-50. Because if it's 50-50 for everyone, wins and losses... Um, I don't know, I, I feel like that kind of... No, no one really looks at win percentages, but... I don't know how you balance players like... Uh, who's someone that's really good? Um, Ceridius, he's, he's great. Um, Jez. As much, as much That's a weird thing to say, oh, Jez is good at Destiny. Jez is very good at Destiny, as much as he crutches on an opening shot, Twilight Oath. Um, he, he's good at the game, he's surprised... He's, very surprisingly, like, mouse and keyboard has come a little very far away. 
and I'm proud of him. Uh, I'm speaking like I'm above him or something. I'm not. I'm actually pretty sure he would beat me at this point. <laughs> okay. Okay. Alright, philosophy. Apply to all players. 50%. I don't want to get small. Half the time. I don't, I don't care about wins and losses in, you know, uh, Valor, which is quick play and stuff like that. But Glory, I very much care about that. Because if I'm playing on my main, it's because I'm going to Legend. And if I'm going to Legend and I just get dumped with crappy teammates because the thing says I need to win or lose 50% of the time, I'm not going to be happy, you know? I'm really not going to be happy that uh, the game would purposely stop me from winning. It's just... <sighs> I, I have just... I've done a lot of recovs. I've played with some very incompetent people. I've done played doubles on my main. There's some very competent people to get on your team in that playlist. Point is, it is very infuriating when your teammates give you the loss, and then I type in the chat, please go back to quick play, and then I get reported. Um, that's never happened to me. Usually I just say, GG, or, hey, play smarter next time, guys. I try to be positive about it, but there's some people who are some negative IQ, zero kills out here. I'll be like, you, what is wrong? Gee, what's, what's going on? Uh, less losses, less punishing streaks. Infamy? Oh, Gambit? What's what's that playlist? I, I... Oh, people still play that? No, nobody does. That's, I, I mean, the, you can still get games for it, but nobody sits back and enjoys Gambit. It's so rare to find someone that just actually says, I can play Gambit all day. It's so much fun. It's not. It's really not. There's the one we didn't want to see. It is happening in October. Bungie said they were going to detach PvP updates from PvE updates, uh, aka content drops, and what they do, they have never done that once. Lovely times. Um, well, it looks like I will be waiting a... No month and a half to get my unbroken for the love of god can i there just be a new season i reached legend so fast this season i think it was in the first week i am hungry for my unbroken i i can't i can't take this any longer all right this is some closing time all right um i'm, I'm facing a bitch there but that's just the ending and none of this really applies it's just reading the tiles needs for a tell those are my hot takes on this whole thing. Overall, pretty positive. No 3v3 base clash. Very, very disappointed about that. O other than that, I really got nothing. We're gonna have to wait and see how this pans out. These are some big changes. Not fixes, changes. No some more skill-based matchmaking, please. <laughs> Alright, I'm dying for a glass of water if I've just been ranting too long. Hope you have a wonderful day and... I'll see you when I make another one of these. <laughs>